So in today's show, Jam Pack Show today, we're going to be talking about a team that just got better on defense and a team that just got worse on offense in the NFL. Welcome back. It's Aaron Moses, also known as King, and I'm here with Taylor. How has everything been going, Taylor? It's going good, Aaron. How are you doing? I'm doing great. You're out there in Minnesota. Tell us about how good that defense has just got. Well, that defense has definitely got better now. Back in 2020, their defense was dreadful, but now they have really shored up their defensive line with some key additions and key players coming back from injuries from last season. The Minnesota Vikings defense was ranked 27th in total defense in the year 2020. One of the major causes of that was how bad their defensive line play was. This year they will look to rebound as they will have Michael Pierce and Daniil Hunter coming back after not playing in 2020. Then they also signed Delvin Tomlinson and Sheldon Richardson to shore up the D-line as they try to return to their 2019 form where they ranked top 15 in total defense and opposing QBs like Aaron Rodgers feared their defense. You know, our guys in the front office have done an outstanding job. Um, you know, it's probably going to be look completely different on the defensive side of the ball than it did last year with uh, the guys coming back and the additions that we made. And um, so, you know, I am excited about that, yeah. Speaking of Aaron Rodgers, he didn't show up to the Packers' mandatory camp. Money is no issue as he could be potentially fined $93,000. Wish I could miss camp and be fined $93,000. Aaron Rodgers in his career as a Green Bay Packer completed 65% of his passes in 2020, having his highest completion rate rating of 70%. 51,000 total yards, 412 touchdowns, and 89 interceptions. This, this is also a man who went to non-playoff appearance and also non-Pro Bowl selections. Aaron Rodgers will be missed, but we get to see more of Jordan Love in this upcoming season. Um, you know, really, I think, you know, all along where the rubbers met the road here has been the beginning of training camp. And I think the Packers know it. The Packers were aware that he wasn't going to show up today. And, you know, now going forward, um, they have – five, six weeks to come to some sort of resolution. Upside here, I guess, is that you get to see Jordan Love for another couple days. Next on Full Sail Live, Hawks versus the 76ers, and then Kevin Durant dominates against the Bucks. Welcome back to Full Sail Live. I'm Taylor Mission, and I'm joined here once again by Aaron. And the Hawks, they looked pretty good last night. Yes, the Hawks looked good. A 26-point lead comeback one of the biggest in playoff history. Let's get to these highlights. Hawks taking on the 76ers in Philadelphia. Winner gets a massive advantage in the series. In the first quarter, Ben Simmons gets the ball, slams it down. The Hawks are trailing big early on in this game. In the fourth quarter, they're trying to make a comeback and Gallinari nails the triple. The Hawks comeback has begun. And then later on in the fourth, Seth Curry knocks down the jumper. The 76ers only shot 37.5% from the field in the second half. And then down four, Trey Young hits two of his 25 second half points. And then ice in his veins, Gallinari nails the fade away. The Hawks are up by three points. Joel Embiid misses the free throw. The 76ers miss 15 free throws in this game as the Hawks go on to win it and take a lead in the series. No, we were up. We had it. I think we just gave it some. We got too comfortable. Um, it didn't didn't play the way we should be playing. Trey Young looked pretty good in that game as, for the Hawks as he scored 39 points. How did the Hawks do it to manage that comeback in that fourth quarter? The Hawks played defense. They outscored the Philadelphia 76ers 40 to 19 in the fourth quarter. Only two players scored points for the 76ers. Seth Curry and Joel Embiid. The hack of Ben Simmons worked and it helped spark a 26 point comeback. So looking forward, if the Hawks win and they win again uh, game six or game seven and win the series and they have to face possibly the Nets 
how do they face off against some, someone like Kevin Durant? There's no facing somebody like Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant is a man amongst boys. Did you see what he did? 49 points, 17 rebounds, and 10 assists. Mind you, he played all 48 minutes. James Harden was on the court, but he was no factor. Kevin Durant put this team on his back. One of the best shooters in NBA history has came, and he showed y'all that he can put a team on his back. He doesn't need Westbrook. He doesn't need Klay Thompson. He doesn't need Steph Curry. All he needs is a gym, the ball, and a jump shot. Thank you for watching our show on Full Sail Live. I'm Taylor Mission. You can follow me at 7mission on twitter.com. And Aaron, it was great working with you today. Oh, yes, Taylor. It's been fun. We'll definitely have to do this again. I'm Aaron Moses, also known as King. And you can follow me on Twitter at KingsRealmATL.